A mom wrote a column for the Huffington Post that caused a huge parenting debate. She admitted that she was honest with her son when he asked if she'd ever done cocaine. Mom told him she used the drug as a way to cope and escape her pain, but her friends thought she was nuts, and I kind of agree for being so honest, and should have just denied any drug use. So ladies, I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Should parents be truly transparent with their kids about their past? Should I go first? <laughs> Since This is you such a that? hard one. It's hard, it's but not you're that a parent. Hard. I want to hear what you it's say. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. Don't you dare tell them everything. Don't tell them everything. Really? If you were a hoe in high school, if you were a hoe in high school, they don't need to know that. <laughs> but, but we do need to be transparent with certain things because I think we can't pretend we were perfect. We can't pretend we've never made mistakes because then I think that's really not true. But I don't think you need to tell them anything. Like I told my boys that I was in Playboy because I knew it would come out on Housewives. And they did not know what Playboy was, or they acted like they didn't know what it was. <laughs> but I truly believe they didn't know. <laughs> but, I, <laughs> but I felt like I had to tell them because that was, a, that was gonna come out. So we talked about what did it, they, they say, know though? about it. You know, what did they, Jax was you, like- You explained it. I said, I only showed my top. I didn't show any bottoms. If there's any pictures out there that shows bottoms, it's not me. And Jax goes, like I walked on you the other day and I saw your boobs and I was like, yeah, like that. <laughs> Except with a lot more airbrushing and makeup and hair. But <laughs> anyway, <laughs> but I do think, um, I do think that you have to be transparent, but not everything, no. Okay, Garcelle, I'm saying this with all the love. What you be doing in your life that you can't tell your kids? What you did? What would you tell what's your kids? What's in your you past that you can't admit but to? Cocaine? Cocaine? Okay, so I never you did cocaine. I never I've never done cocaine ever in my entire life. But Neither this is my I. thing. I'm really grateful that I had a mom that I believe has been super transparent with me and I think that that has been such a blessing in my life for multiple reasons. One, I never felt like there wasn't anything I couldn't tell her because I knew she wouldn't be judgmental. And two, that there was like this relationship that we had built based on honesty and trust. Granted, she be, she might be upstairs right now laughing at me watching this show right now. Like, <laughs> this little girl thinks I done told her everything. But okay. I liked believing that, and because I believe that's true, I would hope that I could do that with my child. And I I talk on this show about everything. Everything my kid would need to hear about, go tune into The Real. I done told you everything yeah, anyway. You lived okay. a different type of life, though, Munchkin. You lived a different... Th my thing is, I think you should... If you're trying to make a point to your child and it's something yeah. that could keep them out of danger, then I think you should tell them. But if if yes. you don't need to tell them, I don't... Because, I, see, my aunt, she tell me... Every, I don't want to hear about what you did okay. in the forties. <laughs> I do not. But sometimes that care. actually scares kids away from doing it. You know what I'm saying? I don't like, know about I have that. this one. I have this one cousin of mine. Shout out to my cousin Heidi, and <laughs> she'd be saying some freak nasty things, right? That she'd be doing, <laughs> or just in general, real fresh with it, right? And I feel uh -huh. like because she's so blunt about it. Her daughter is the complete opposite of her. Does that make sense? Like, really? I swear her daughter is like, oh my you gosh, think? like, ma, yes. And she's like practically a saint, the girl. All that to say, I think one of the biggest lessons I had in my life and why I would never touch drugs and why I'm so against drugs and deathly afraid of even taking like acetaminophen, it's because I had a family member in my life pass away from an overdose of drugs. And my cousin who was married to him was very honest with me about what happens and how that works. And literally she explained to me that like, there could be a group of kids trying even something as, as harmless as they say weed is, and you could be the one that reacts the wrong way. You could be the one that, right. you know, it's sprinkled with something in there and you don't know what it is. If you didn't grow that thing yourself, you don't know what's in that weed. So you could be the one that gets the bad hit and you drop dead. So because I had that experience and that fear was placed in me, I would never, ever, ever, ever touch drugs. Like I'm literally so afraid. Right. 
And I'm, but I'm so grateful for that. So if I could share that type of honest reality with my nieces or with my children and be like, yeah. check it out, it's, it's, it's roulette out here. It's gonna be puff, puff, pass, and it could be puff, buff, die, okay? Like, you don't know how that's gonna hit you. Your other two friends could take the exact same drug and be fine, but that hits right. your system a different way, and you drop dead. Right, so but I not think everybody's so you can say that without saying it. Honest. honest. Oh, sorry. Bless you. You can say that without oh, saying you. that it was you. You could, you know what I mean? It's like, oh. you could you could say, you, you know, and, and not say, I did it. You could just be like, you know, you know, if I was you, I wouldn't do that because, you know, it blah, 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 yep. and not reveal that it was yep. actually... It's some My things I think Boofy. you should be able to keep to yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. Like, Maybe yeah. the sexual thing, Me. that's what I'll do. I'll be like, you you know your cousin Maria tried that one time, right? <laughs> I don't recommend doing that. Cousin Maria. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs>